I'm from Ososo, I'm from this community, and uh, it is my age group that is uh, participating in the Ososo Itaku Festival 2024. Across the vast continent of Africa, the echoes of the past resonate in myriad ways. Among these timeless connections lies a profound link, the thread of festivals. Yeah, this is the OK Itaku. But as we stand here, we have people from Ani, we have people from Egbetua, we have people from Igbina, we also have people from Udurewo. We are all here. This is just a, a symbolic event that shows how we, how we translated or how we moved from Benin up, on, up until the Igalans, till we came down to where we are here. These vibrant celebrations, steeped in tradition, bridge the gap between generations, summoning the future through ancient rituals. It's at this point I also want to, uh, to make a shout out to all those who are celebrating Itaku Festival this year. I thank God for you. I, I appreciate the efforts that you have made to continue to sustain this cultural aspect of our people. It's our prayer that the younger people who are coming up may even take this ceremony to greater heights. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In Ethiopia, for example, the Timcat Festival celebrates a joyous commemoration of Jesus Christ's baptism in the Jordan River, while in the Republic of Benin, it is the Kida Voodoo Festival weaving enchantment around Vodun, an animistic religion that defies time. And then there's the Girwol Festival, celebrated by the nomadic Wudabi people, a tribe renowned for their intricate beauty customs and courtship dances. In Nigeria's Edo State, throughout the town of Asoso, where the heartbeat of tradition pulses with an ancient festival. At the heart of a so-so, Nestled within the sacred grounds of Osano, lies the Ewo Eye of Bo Shrine. Here, a polished pebble-like stone rests, an ancient sentinel with a tale to tell. Just behind the palace in Oke quarters, this stone embodies the essence of the Atakpo festival. Legend weaves a tapestry of whispers around this stone, a story that predates Asoso itself. The elders say the spirit behind this shrine guided the forefathers of this land during their arduous migration. Through long, turbulent days, they followed the stone's silent call, a beacon leading them to their destiny. And this stone defies time. Older than the very people themselves, it witnessed the arrival of the four major Anuku clans, their footsteps echoing across ages. Each clan carried a piece of stone like this one, like fragments of memory, as they settled on Asoso's fertile soil. Itaku is a structure that was set up by the early settlers. When they fully came to the land and settled, we decided to have a, a cultural a setting that will bring all the youth uh, together. In the early days, houses were built by uh, the community. So within this uh, structure, we have those who help in building uh, houses for those who have the capacity to build. Oh, beggar down, Nana. Brother down, Nana. It's all great pair. About a why am I not to go to the battle? It is the the battle, while John walked out on four as the sun sets over a so so, 
the Atakpa festival unfolds, a symphony of drums, dance, and ancestral reverence. The stone and what it represents, weathered yet unyielding, stands witness. This stone is more than mere geology. It embodies the essence of the Atakpo festival. Just for the sake of clarity, it must be noted that a Soso is not without its original dwellers even as the migrating clans arrived one after the other. History has it that the, we did the, the, the aborigine. Now have we we have the aborigines right at a grave. That is why you have a, most of the uh, most of the land that we occupy presently uh, owned by them. That the in the olden days they share a land with only the, the Makiki. When they tell you when they when they when they tell you Udurebo, they are telling you that's the power, the seed power of Udurebo. So and uh, I ask myself, why why do you call them uh, the Udurebo? Udu, Udurebo. That is the seat of all the Udurebo. The Durifo people were the Aborigines who lived in Asoso land long before the other Anuku sought refuge in this undulating terrain littered with rocks of different shapes and sizes. Among those who sought refuge in Asoso were the people of Oke, burdened by the original stone, the mother of this one, which they were compelled to leave behind, as a relic from their own migration. Near modern-day Kogi State, Nigeria, they dropped their burden the mother stone, in a place called Ajikoriko. The stone, unwieldy and unyielding, resisted their efforts. So, they carried a smaller version, this particular one, that would lead them to Asoso. Oral tradition whispers of a time when this very stone was stolen and sold, only to mysteriously find its way back to this very same sacred spot. The god Ajikoriko that Atakpo represents is more than just a mere stone, it is not just a memory, it is woven into Asoso's fabric. Divided into five clans known as Anuku Ishi, the town's story unfolds through migration. This god, this silent guide, led the people out of bondage, across treacherous landscapes and many intertribal wars, to this land, a place flowing with milk and honey. And sir, Every seven years, as the sun dances across the hills, the Soso people celebrate the Atakpo festival. A time when the air thrums with drums and dances sway, a symphony of reverence. Origin of Itako is about uh, where we are coming from and it's about uh, our service to community. It's about our origin by our progenitors and our forefathers and is also about graduation from being a youth to being ascribed the title of an elder in this community. The significance of this intaco is for a youth to graduate from youthfulness to uh, 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 an elder. In those days where we have intertribal war, interethnic wars, it is the youth that are the mainstream of that force. So when you are leaving the stage of being a youth to become an elder, this festival is celebrated, to celebrate all that you have done as a youth. Uh, why do we call those participants Okokbe? Okokbe is a two word. Oko meaning he has fought. Okbe meaning he had worked for the community. It is about community service. It means you have fought in defense of this community and you have also worked in service to this community. It is celebrated in Esako. Igara celebrated their own last year. So many communities in Edo State celebrate it. Uh, Onwa celebrates it. I have participated in one of their celebrations uh, a few years ago. So why do we say so? It is, it is a celebration about our heritage. And you could see Afema Edo were a homogeneous people, and that is why it is celebrated in so many parts of Edo State. Each clan observes the festival in its own time, yet all share the same heartbeat. Some clans haven't celebrated in ages, 
while others choose to unite their voices with other clans who celebrate it. So it's a celebration, there's no any evil on it. If we call it a festival, there's evil. How will you call Christmas evil or New Year evil? This is a thing to celebrate. People come from overseas, from far and from near. They come and celebrate with you. This is when you know your people. It's oneness. It's just oneness, celebration. You celebrate with your people, your Iminyo. Iminyo, that is your kindred. When you celebrate with them, you can see when people come and shouting Odumaduke, Odumaduke. What is Odumaduke? That is your people who come together from far, from near. You celebrate. You can see people happy. We drink, we eat. Nobody asks you for money for the food you are eating. Nobody asks you for money for the food you have, you have eat or the drink you have drunk. So that is the happiness of it all. When people talk about evil, I wonder where the evil is coming out from it. As you can see, this set of group now that are coming out in 2024, we have about four pastors who are celebrating with them presently. They are pastors. So there are things people should not just say is evil. For the average Asoso man or woman, a takpo is no mere ritual. It is as sacred as Christmas, as profound as Easter, as soul-stirring as Ramadan. Amid the undulating hills, where the past and present converge, the festival thrives. A testament to resilience, a bridge between generations, a past calling on the future. The festival spans nine days or more, and its inception begins with purpose. Age mates, hopeful successes to the elders, fan out across the town. They clear pathways, including the revered Erevbo and the route leading to the mountain where celebrants will camp. Enthusiasm fuels their labor, and within a day, one long stretch of road emerges, a testament to unity and shared purpose. We are, we are currently at Igwe where those who are celebrating the Taku festival are currently camping. They are preparing to come down. They are preparing to come down to uh, the town. This beautiful place, this beautiful place used to be where our people, our ancestors lived for hundreds of years before coming down to the present site. It's such a beautiful and scenic environment. The air is so pristine and clean, and in fact, it's marvelous. Um, I just hope that uh, we continue to preserve these places so that um, as historical sites uh, they will continue to remind children unborn the beauty of our land. To partake in a TACPO, one must enroll in the age groups. From acceptance onward, a solemn pact binds the average Asoso, shun evil, embrace virtue. For a TACPO, in its purest and most ancient form, transcends mere celebration. It is a religion etched into the hills, the stones, and the very souls of a so-so people. As we traversed the entire town of a so, -so we encountered homes adorned with palm frond sheds, a telltale sign that celebrants resided within. Each home sheltered stories and the heartbeat of tradition. Within these homes, celebrants prepared their offerings. The list was both practical and symbolic, tubers of yam, a sacrificial goat and all kinds of bush meat. Palm wine flowed, a libation to ancient spirits, and red oil, anointing for the feast ahead. But there was more, the celebrants' attire matted, new clothes adorned their bodies, and a horsetail whip hung at their side, a symbol of authority and discipline. But what caught our eye was the identical umbrella, each celebrant shielded by the same canopy. A unifying force, perhaps, against the elements and the mysteries that awaited. Oh, Abutai Jacob, ete kuna. Imera wasa, awebo. Abogi, Alfred Peter. Oda bagi, afemige merana. Oda saki ojo ojo Peter. I ifamujaze, 
Elizabeth, Peter, Ocho. Imona, we were. In where we were also, no, or more also. Only Thomas said, She had not dreamed Mona, or my Thomas was also now. Imona, Edwina Bubuno, who beg our letter, let another ruby, while you're ready to be winner. I take a better lady dominating Edwina winner. I is fourteen years. But take a better way in Lady Yeni. Oguma do fe bo de se, oguma akanya ya wa mu no na oguma do nejo. A ne du arase yi. A de ne fe bo de se ro. A de ne nya ni umi gbegbe wu unuro. Imona imona imu ayaya ro. A ti wi ye, ko da go no ye muro. A da go ye muro, e de gbe bo aroya age. Wa ya jo ye wa village ma de dosa. O ma nya ni mi efu, o nya de mi fa. On yani ku mebi ebi an e yaro. O ki yagaro di ba fo si yagaro o pe gbe to. O pe gbe to saji. Adadona osun me ojo Peter. O to bo ni ni ro be de ma da won. An ta o gba na da won na. An ya jo ni ibe. I ko bo ja bo mo bi ku oni. Mi bi so na in osun me ojo Peter. A bo ja fi won de sa da na ko o ti ni o gbo me bo ri ya. This was a more good bar with me barney, a dam with Nana. On our sweet, it's your job, who knows also. Me take baby sooner, me dibby la fifty, me daddo, me bore him, me dibbury, me dena, me tona. I brought the show south where we may. I thought just an answer. Oh, you're dead, and me show south where more. I bought a half a more resin. This is the gateway. In this very junction, this is where the passing out age group will present food to their junior brother. The ones that are taken over directly from them. At this very junction, it is the duty of the younger brothers to inspect the food. Inspecting the food, they check the food. The food must come with three meat and a 25 liter pito. Once it, the, the food and the pito got to this junction, they will check it. If they are not satisfied with it, it won't pass through this gate. Oh, yeah, okay. If you can see now, one of the food is there. Because they are not satisfied with it. They are not yet satisfied with this one. But immediately your food passed through the trial, they will now take it inside. That's why they call inside here Ufe. And the people that own this place is the younger brother to those that are passing now. So after years, after now, I will take you inside the Ufe. Why they call it Ufe? Ufe in English is whole, no? Oh, there. Yes. Oh, that is the oh where they save every food that is coming up here. And they're going to bring food here this evening. They are going to bring tomorrow morning. They are going to bring food tomorrow evening. And they are going to bring food next tomorrow morning before these people begin to dispatch and return back home. To the hills they ascended, a pilgrimage of knights. Women were forbidden from this sacred ground, yet friends and relatives brought sustenance. Food offerings underwent scrutiny. Only purity would suffice. And so, atop the hills, they feasted. Songs echoed. Dances spun, and laughter mingled with the whispering winds. Each celebrant carved a space, a barrier of sticks tied to shoulders. No falling, no touching heels, the rules etched into their very bones. And earlier, youths danced in groups, pestles in hand, pounding yam, a rhythmic tribute to sustenance and strength. It, they lacked understanding. If they are Christian, are they Hebrews, are they Jews? Are they Israelites? They are Asos. Do they speak Hebrew? Do they speak Israeli language? It is a lack of understanding. Even the Bible is in the culture of the Israelites. It is lack of understanding. 
a number of passages in the Bible where they go to and God will direct that they should set up a monument. Stones will be arranged, most times self, 12, to reflect the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. Stones will be arranged and offering will be made, burnt offering, a worker offer. So it is lack of understanding. For those who lack understanding, so be it. It is not by compulsion. I am from this community. God did not make mistake from making, I would have come from Norway or Iceland, but God chose that I will come from Ossosa. So it is then and then I have to do what uh, uh, my community does. So those who say they are Christians and will not celebrate what our forefathers celebrate, they lack understanding. That is it. The fireplaces, dug fresh into the earth, cradled the attack per meals, and they must be covered as soon as the meals was cooked. Here, the sacred mingled with the mundane. But beware, intentions mattered. Just as the Holy Communion of Christendom held weight, so did the Atakpo feast. Evil intentions met terrible consequences, a cosmic balance that spared no one, participant or observer alike. At the foot of the hill where celebrants are camped quickly gathered an assemblage of large bowls of pounded yams, clay pots of different kinds of soups and bush meat. On the final day of camping, as evening draped to Soso, celebrants descended from the hills. Relatives joined the procession at a meeting point, a jubilant dance, drums beating in sync with heartbeats, all of them to the welcoming embraces of the king and his chiefs. The hills whispered their delight, and the night embraced them all. Jubilation filled the air, a chorus of laughter, drumbeats, and shared stories. The rituals complete, the celebrant now bears a new title, a cogbe, meaning, a winner who has earned his trophy. For three months, he abstains from farm work, his focus shifting to a different harvest, the harvest of wisdom and responsibility. His attire transforms as well, a cap, beads, and a horsetail whip, a visual proclamation of his elevated status. Festivals are more than mere events, they are threads woven into the fabric of communities. They commemorate history, express gratitude to gods and goddesses, and foster group cohesiveness. Yet, in the heart of a so-so, the Atakpa festival stands as a voice from the past, a bridge between ancient rites and modern sensibilities. Some argue that Atakpo's survival lies in its adaptation to modern standards. Others maintain that its authenticity, its 100% indigeneity, anchors it firmly within Asoso's cultural soil. As foreign religions encroached, Atakpo remains a steadfast reminder of heritage and continuity. The elders say Atakpo, beyond its vibrant processions and rhythmic dances, serves a profound purpose, protection protection from those who would harm the people of Asoso. Atakpo is a past calling, it establishes identity, elicits revelation, and accesses divinity. And even as foreign religions encroach, this heritage must remain steadfast, a bridge between ancient whispers and modern sensibilities. Preserving this heritage is vital, it unravels the threads of history, revealing where Asoso people come from. It fosters understanding, strengthens culture, and binds us as humans. For in the heart of attack folk, time dances, a timeless rhythm that echoes across hills and generations. <laughs>